Hey, I'm Dave, and this is Harris Kenny with Aleph Objects. We're super stoked to have you here. Thanks for thanks for coming. Yeah, we got in. Uh, great trip. Been really awesome seeing the facility. You guys are growing. Yeah. Mad Hackers are growing. Yeah. We had in and out. Working on it. So we're doing the California thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're uh, not your first time in California. You went to school down here? Yeah, I went to school nice. in Southern California at Pepperdine, so cool. like an hour from here. Right on. What'd you study there? Econ. Nice. So not 3D Econ. printing. 3D printing was not a major. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How did you get? How did you end up at uh, Lulzbot or Alep itself? So I actually I went to a 3D printing kind of open house mm -hmm. in Denver in 2000. Well, and there I some met... Some root nerdiness that's <laughs> yeah. happening in 2012, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very root nerdiness. And I met uh, the founder of the company, Jeff cool. Mo yep. there. I know Jeff. Awesome yep. dude. Yeah. yeah. And so we kept in touch. And then when LF was growing and they, uh, the company moved into a new building uh, in October 2013, Jeff asked me if I wanted to join the company. And I was the first full-time marketing hire. Yeah. So we started in January 2014. And just a few yeah. months later... We met for the first time. Yeah, in uh, Seattle at 3D Printer World, I think, was the first time that you and I hung out as uh, Matter Hackers and Moldsbot itself. That's yeah, awesome. exactly. Long ago. We go way back. <laughs> Many years, and the industry and our companies were... Totally changed. Yeah, it yeah. feels like 20 years ago. Yeah. What was, like, <laughs> what were you, the marketing guy <laughs> at Lulzbot back then, like, pushing as the new product? Because I, I know the roots of how it was all created and how you guys were kind of starting with kits and even yeah. before, like, the Taz platform even existed. Kit Taz was even 20 years ago. Later, yeah. yeah. Like, what what was it started as, and how has have you seen it transform? Like, yeah. super interested in kind of the backstory. So the company started selling parts and components. Mm -hmm. So like RepRap, born out of RepRap, um, started assembling and selling Prusa i3 yeah. clones, clone bells, and then the AO series of printers. And so when we started selling the AO, which is kind of a triangular, the triangular based, yeah. That was when we started moving really into printers and focusing on printers, introduced the Taz. And um, in so when we met in 2014, at the time we had the Taz 3, mm -hmm. um, the Taz 4 was about to come out. And at the time our software was still Slicer, stock yep. Slicer, um, but we did share INI files. Yeah. And, and that was our only printer product. And then we just sold the parts and, uh, and a handful of uh, materials. We started selling and supporting NinjaFlex actually back in 2013. Yeah, one of the first like on board of that particular filament. And yeah. Uh, kind of made a name for itself out of that relationship, I think. Oh yeah, and we've been working with them um, very closely ever since. And so I think we were definitely ahead of the game of materials. I mean, we were selling yeah. lots of different materials and supporting them ourselves yeah. um, back in the day. But, uh, but from then to now, yeah, now we have the Taz 6 and the Mini. We have our own version of Cura, yep. and we've got kits and tool heads and all sorts of resellers. It's like partners. a really refined product line. And the way we think of Lulzbot is like, especially the Taz 6, kind of like the, the hero of the uh, of the products that you guys have. is like, it's a workhorse. We love using it. We literally have them like all throughout the office. Like, we use them like crazy, especially things that are big build volume with like the 11 by 11 by 10. That's like a good bigger build volume compared to most of the machines out there. So we love the polished products and all that stuff. So that's great. Yeah, the Taz 6, you know, it's a beast. We really love it. Honestly, it's a great printer. Um, customers use it in all sorts of different businesses, customers at NASA and schools and home users. Uh, the reliability, that's the thing. And when we introduced the Mini in January of 2015, we announced it at CES. Um, yeah. Our focus with the Mini was, hey, let's make 3D printing as reliable and easy as possible. We've got the self-leveling and the self-cleaning on here. We yeah. introduced PEI onto the printer with the Mini standard. And then we've just kind of rolled all that up with the Taz and keep focusing yeah. on printers that work. And even as much as it's a polished product, uh, I've been to Loveland, Colorado, to the factory there. Like, it's still one of the, it's a, it's, a, it's a relatively premium 3D printer that's available out there, but still at its roots, it's RepRap. There are 3D printed parts and they are reliable. Like, they are the, the root of the entire product as it's at itself and, and we love that. But like talk virtually people through like what uh, Aleph Mountain is and that like the printer farm you guys have. I love, I love that story. Yeah, we, so our headquarters is called Aleph Mountain. It's in Loveland. It's about 17,000 square feet. Uh, 
and it actually formerly before we moved into the building it was injection moldings yeah so it's kind of like historical plastics and then kind of the next generation yeah. <laughs> of the plastics industry um, we have in that building a room called the cluster yeah um, it has 155 machines that run 24 7 yeah and so and people you know love like oh the printers print themselves but there's actually <laughs> you know a whole department called the cluster uh, you know and the people in that department work really hard yeah. on slicing files and quality control we've printed Close to two million production grade parts. Oh my gosh! In that room, and on those hundred and however many machines yeah. that there are, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's a really yeah. cool room. When you go into the room, you're like, oh my god, I'm in this cave. That is really cool. Yeah, it's like rows and rows of printers, and and it's not uncommon that machines in there will get over ten thousand hours of print time mm -hmm. um, just running in yeah. the cluster. And so, you know, the engineering concept of eating your own dog food, <laughs> you know, you better, you better do it. Yeah, yeah we really rely. Yeah. on these things because there's no like backup there's no mold sitting on the shelf yeah that we could use it in case our printer stopped working yeah. we would production would stop but on the al alternate side like you're able to iterate and yes. uh if if customers are having issues with a particular part uh you're able to change it a little bit yeah i actually love this part in itself like the design that it's made to be removed from the print bed but also aesthetically looks really good yeah it's yeah one of my favorite pieces on the entire uh, taz 6. yeah and this was an idea that came from uh one of our folks in the cluster they're like hey these parts are hard to remove and so it's got these little lines big surface area so it's got little lines that makes it a lot of little surface areas so exactly easy, easy to that's really cool yeah yeah nice. it's pretty awesome what's new uh with lulzbot any new products any new announcements i know a couple this is a cheating question but <laughs> yeah go. yeah so brand new we just announced last week the the Cura 2 yeah. Lulzbot Edition Beta, which is so, really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. We announced it at SIGGRAPH last week yeah. in Los Angeles, so just up yep. the road from, uh, Welcome back. Yeah. from Matter Hackers. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back. Um, so that was really great. So customers can download that going to lulzbot.com slash Cura, C-U-R-A. And then we've also getting ready for back to school. We've introduced some kits, um, Arduino cool. and yep. kind of like STEM robotics types of kits from SparkFun Electronics, yep. who's another Colorado company um, down the road from us, and then Caltech, who has a, a version of the Cyclops scanner. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. So we released those, and we're getting ready for back to school. So yeah. new software and new kits and accessories and Good stuff. stuff to do with your printer. Yeah. And even more stuff to come in the future. Uh, yes. You guys got like new machines and stuff to work on? Anything you can talk about? Nothing yet. We haven't announced anything yet, but we share everything online. So it's all there. You might not know, but <laughs> uh, yeah, Lulzbot R&D every 30 minutes is yep. published on devel.lulzbot.com. Yep. Um, we've got new hardware in the works, no deadlines or price points or anything like that, yep. but working on new printers at, at higher prices yep. and new tool heads and new print beds. And, yeah, and you uh, share some of it on social media and stuff yeah. even, so you can see little bits and pieces of uh, some of the next things to come from. Oh yeah. From Lulzbot. Yeah, we're staying busy and uh, you know, working with matter hackers. We're yeah. here getting ideas. You guys are yeah. picking our brains and telling us, hey, do more of this, yeah. do more of that. So we're getting ideas from the community and using that to try to get Good. better. Well, we are stoked to have you. Thanks for coming by, man. Thanks. Yeah. We'll catch up soon. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.